Hello, everybody, and welcome to the third episode of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. I'm Orius. And I'm Wing. And we're... We just got our shuriken arm thingy that we are two to use. So, we need to head back to where we were beforehand. We Why go don't back. you just, uh, travel? Well, I figured, you know, if I'm actually going to get, you know, experience points in this, I might as well do a little bit of, you know, extra farming. Kinda, sorta. Fair enough. I can at least grab what I, you know, get on the way there. So close. Yeah, it's weird. It doesn't, like, doesn't always quite register. Oh, I got another ceramic shard. Um... Death blows, like you need to wait for it to pop up for a second. I suppose that makes sense. Yes, break the fence. interesting. Huh. Uh, just, you closed out of the game and now you're back in it, but the Doggy item bag still is still here. there, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's because the actual item bag is part of the environment. Which is an interesting touch. I wonder if you can uh, jump to where that little basket is, you know, right there. That thing? Yeah. Uh, I guess not. Kind of, sort of. Uh, it said that I could ledge hang, so let's see if I can... Ha ha ha. As you break the side. Looks like you were correct, this guy doesn't respawn. I'd have been surprised. I wonder that any named enemy does not. Probably. Okay, so... I wonder if you can get to that uh, little island thingy over... Yeah, over there. I mean, I would imagine so. Uh, I bet you have to go through the roof first. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Broken building. Let's do our best to get a bird's eye view. So we know that... Okay, so there's that dude. What else is there nearby? There's another guy there. All those crows over there. Anything down here? A sneaking area. Looks like you can hang off of that ledge right to your left. So it does. I wonder if there's anything there. Oh, there's two people there. Oh, yeah, no, two. The one that holds still and the one that wanders. Uh, so there's at least three guys around here. This Do you think it can be won? I fear we may not prevail. What? We'll be just fine. Look, Ishi may be sick, but he's still going strong. Genichiro is a terror with the bow. And of course, we have Yobu the demon. Ah, Yobu, of course. Good point. As long as he is with us, no man could ever breach the Ashina Castle gate. Yobu, I get the feeling that he's going to be my next boss. Okay. I like the fact that. Oh, dang it. <laughs> this game hates giving me death blows. Just delete it. All right. Yeah, the the death blow system in this is actually kind of aggravating the majority of the time. At least it looks like it gives you stun frames, if not eye frames. Something just tried to shoot you. What was that? That was. Uh, yeah, uh, he's reloading. Oh, it's wow. a musket. Okay. Interesting. And there's still a guy on the ground. Yeah. Okay, I got another ceramic shard. Did he run away? I don't know. No, I think he's just down to the left. I could be wrong. Did he think he was hiding? I don't know. Did you grab the scent off of him? 
Nah, I did. Oh. Uh, uh, you're a big boy. Ow, ow. Okay. Uh, god damn, there's too many buttons. Get me out of here. Come on, let's go. Piece of shit, man. <laughs> It's just so much. So there's three guys with swords and big boy with the hammer. Okay. I imagine the uh, death room above only works if they don't know you're there. Yeah, but like there's not even a plunging attack. Like I understand the not being able to get a death blow, but like there's not even like a regular like plunging attack. Well, that kind of sucks. Get me off the ledge, you piece of shit. The lock on system is also pretty finicky, too. Is it? This is a guy that has lost a lot of weight way too quickly. Can't move. Stuck between him and the fucking tree. Well, that was a nice spin. God, that was a straight up unfair fight. There's nothing I could do in that situation. You got a bunch of pellets, at least. Yeah, thank God. Alright, um... I guess time to explore again. Alright, so let's... Try and head up. So I, I do indeed want to see what's on the side. Oh, cool. There's that. Oh, so... Oh, another light coin burst. Okay. Can I even get up there? It doesn't look like it lets me jump, like, hook on to anything up there. I wonder if you have to, like, climb up from a different way, because it looks like that path wraps down and around. Yeah, and there's more guys down there. Okay, well, let me explore up here more. Okay, so... Well, hopefully there's, uh... A thing soon. Statue. Yeah, thank you. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. I'm just calling them bonfires. Like, I get they're not bonfires, but they're bonfires. Rest area. Does this mean you're on the highway of the Shinobi? Probably. I mean, you are on roofs, so I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything to be gained from... Around here. Oh, wait. Okay. Does this take me anywhere interesting? Uh, not really. Nope. Okay. I saw the little marker for, you know, but I couldn't get close enough. Yeah. There's, uh, someone you can talk to. Who are you? Is that you, Inosuke? My son. Have you seen the young master? Hmm. What? Nothing to say? Does your stomach hurt or something? <laughs> You've always had a weak stomach. <laughs> well, anyway, take this bell. It's a charm I made with the young master in mind. Please, offer it to Buddha for his sake. I wonder if you're supposed to put it on the, uh... Nice looking state. It is. Okay. Young Lord's Bell Charm. A bell charm received from an old woman who asked that it be offered to Buddha. 
Bell charms protect their holders through Buddha's divine protection. If one finds themselves the owner of another bells of another's bell charm, offering it to Buddha on their behalf is common courtesy. The sculptor at the dilapidated temple can advise on how it should be offered. Gotcha. Interesting. Okay. I wonder if she says anything else. Inosuke, my son, have you offered the bell charm to Buddha? Have you tried the rundown temple with that stubborn sculptor in it? I'm sure you'll find Buddha there. Uh, I guess uh, you get to come back later. Yeah. Uh, who is it? Is somebody there? Yes. That voice. No. Could it be? Sir, my name is Inosuke Nogami. Oh. A vassal of the Harata family. Or at least I was. I ask a favor. Might you look in on the old lady in that house? She's my mother. But her mind is failing. She cannot tell one from another. I met your mother. She gave me a bell. She did, did she? You have my thanks. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Something about offering it to Buddha. I wonder how the dialogue would have been different if you hadn't already spoken with Ray, her. Right, and it didn't seem very incoherent to me. It seemed very clear that she wants me to go and bring the bell to the Buddha statue. Sir, the man from before, right? I wanted to thank you for humoring my mother. That bell's troubled her for a long, long time. She kept muttering incoherently. Okay. Yeah, I wonder how things change. After you give the bell to the Buddha statue. We'll have to see. Ooh, I thought you were going to go right off the cliff again. Yeah, this game's really, really liking to make control seem very floaty. <laughs> Plain view kills a man no one notices. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Oh no, uh, the guy with the gun noticed. I don't think that's a gun. Uh, that's a cannon. That is a straight-up cannon. He was three feet in front of you and you missed! I mean, let's be real, it was only a matter of time before Mushu got quoted. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that was straight up death. Ouch. Um, Got it. So, uh, ignore everything to go after Cannon Guy because while you're death blowing somebody, you apparently don't have iframes. Oh, you can stop death blow from a wall. Huh, gotcha. Okay. Well, hey, you're here. You may as well turn in the bell. Yeah, no kidding. Unseen aid. Okay. Half of skill experience in center lost upon death, but there is a way to avoid this on rare occasions. Through the unseen aid of gods and Buddha, one may be spared this loss. The chances of receiving unseen aid can be seen in the pause menu. Oh, so does that mean you didn't actually lose anything? Doesn't look like it. Huh. You can buy more of your, uh... Paper thingies, yeah. Yeah, those things. Okay, well... I might as well talk to him about this bell, yeah. Hmm. What is it? Seems to me your battle sense has returned. You're more like a shinobi than before. If only a little. Take this. Shinobi Esoteric Text. A book of secrets that details a variety of techniques employed by shinobi. Grants the ability to learn shinobi-style skills. It's a skill tree. Within this text are the innermost secrets of the shinobi art, such as attacks performed in the air and hiding one's body to avoid detection. Such moves could never be practiced by samurai. Okay. What? Interesting. Shinobi techniques recorded within are fighting techniques that cannot be performed by samurai. Hmm. Whether you make use of them or not is up to you. Shinobi aren't the only ones with their own fighting techniques. Fair enough. 
Owning an esoteric text out of a combat style will allow its skills to be acquired in the sculptor's idle skill menu. Each enemy defeated provides skill experience. Skill points are acquired once through uh, once enough experience is gained, which can be spent to unlock skills. Fuck, I cannot read this, man. <laughs> Some skills can also be learned by obtaining items or defeating enemies. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so... I think you actually have to talk to him. Or you have to go to the idol. Uh, key item. There we go, key item. Uh, alright, well, bring in, okay. Well, whatever. I can hear the ring Thank you. of a bell chime. You mean this old bell? An old woman asked me to offer it to Buddha. That bell, have you seen it before? No. It is unfamiliar. It appears the bell disagrees. I think it's trying to tell you something. What? Give it as an offering. The kind-faced Buddha near the wall is different from the Buddhas I make. It was carved by the hand of the true sculptor. Of the true sculptor. Interesting. If you want more forms for that fang of yours, You'll need to search for more shinobi tools. Well, yeah. Not turn back from this path now. The least I can do is load your arm. All right. Well, so we're gonna pray to this. He offered a bell. Full on cut scene and everything. It disappears in the flash of light. Nah, it catches on fire. I could see either. Close your eyes. Hear the bell speak to you. The bell's chime will stir your thoughts. Is this like a Breath of the and Wild awaken thing? And old memories from their slumber. Oh, okay, so bells basically help us piece together our character's amnesia. So we're gonna, like, watch a cutscene of his past and whatnot. It's kind of like the photographs in Breath of the Wild. Yeah. Three years ago. Ooh! Ooh, I play through it. Nice. Sculptor's Idol found. The Acquire Skills menu has been unlocked in the Sculptor's Idol menu. New skills can be learned by spending skill points in this menu. Okay, well, let's rest. Acquire Skills. Acquiring skills. New skills can be acquired by spending skill points in the skill menu. New combat styles can be learned through obtaining esoteric texts for each style. There are three types of skills. Combat arts, shinobi martial arts, and latent skills. Combat arts must be equipped to, to be used, but shinobi martial arts and latent skills are always in effect upon being acquired. Whirlwind Slash. Acquires combat art whirlwind slash, a spinning attack that can hit several enemies at once. The sharp cut combined with the force of the spin can strike multiple foes and deal damage even when guarded. When surrounded by enemies, the shinobi technique can cut open a path to victory. It costs one point. Uh, you use L1 and R1 at the same time. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Mikiri Counter. You need two points for it, so you can't get it yet. Not yet, but... Uh, it's a shinobi martial art, and it enables one to counter enemy thrust attacks by stomping down on an enemy's weapon, dealing a large amount of damage to posture. It is nearly impossible to perceive the speed of a thrust, but not for sharp eye... Not... Yeah, not for sharp eyes of a shinobi. Uh, you hit circle the moment an enemy thrust attack would land. Hmm. Okay, so whenever an enemy would thrust at me, I can counter it with circle to deal heavy posture damage. Yeah. Got it. I think I want to save up for that. I like playing defensively. Yeah, but you do like your AoE stuff, too. Yeah. Herada Estate. Uh, that's on fire. I was going to say, that's a lot of fire. Ooh, Ooh Jesus. Yeah, don't, don't jump off the cliff yet. Uh, 
A fistful of ash. You're the son of Owl. Owl, Owl and Wolf, okay. Makes sense. What happened? Thieves at Hirata Estate. You must hurry. The divine error. I like that you can ask what year it is. What year is it? What year? An odd question. Tell me. It's the year of the Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. The Dragon Spring Pilgrimage. I think pilgrimage. he died. <laughs> that was three years ago. What is this? The sculptor mentioned an old memory. I don't remember any of this. Okay. But it appears this is the past. Yeah, Just, so I go through here and... Is there anything else on the cliffs before you go flying off? Uh, I don't think so. Yeah, probably not, but you never know, because there's a long path back that way. Uh, that's a dead-end wall right there, I oh, think. Oh, no, it loops around, okay. Now it's a dead-end. Yeah. Keep forgetting that circle is my sprint button. <laughs> We got an item over here. Dowsing powder. Medicine for treating burns. Heals the burn status ab uh, abnormality and for a time decreases burn buildup. Increases burn resistance and reduces damage from incoming burn attacks. When fire is used on the battlefield, dowsing powder is crucial for survival. Okay, so it's, you know, fireproof powder, essentially. You're going to have an enemy that breathes fire at you and I'm willing to bet this guy does it. Oh no, he just smacks you with the torch. Okay. Alright. I don't think you can run on that. Cool, I got a way to deal with dogs very quickly. It's nice being able to take them out from a distance. Right. Oh. Look, there's an item way over there. So there is, huh. Okay, well, let's go check that out. I wonder how you can get to it. Man, trying to get exact timing on the parrying in this game is, like, so weird because... Oh, there's a beach. Like, you don't want to parry too early, or else you don't get the proper parry timing, and it just ends up screwing you over, but... Treasure Carp Scale, a sparkling scale from a treasure carp. To the average person, it is just a beautiful scale, but there are some who exalt a certain master who consider these scales among the most precious things in the world. For this reason, collecting them could be worthwhile. Okay. Alright, then. Treasure Carp Scale. So, are there treasure carp? I'm curious what you use it for. Well, I, I mean, they said, you know, you give it to a dude, and dude's... A, oh, hey, there are. Okay. Yeah, how are you supposed to get... I think it's just a giant, ugly koi fish. Right? Well. It's in the... Oh, you can swim. Huh. Here I was thinking you were jumping to your death. Did you just dolphin jump? Huh? What? Did I? Oh my god, I did. Totally did. Hey, you can just go check out the uh, boat now at least. Right? I didn't even consider the fact that I couldn't go into water. I just jumped and I'm like, hey, it's an enemy. And it's it's down there and I'll just kill it. Oh, oh whoops. Damn dogs. You saw the possibility of treasure and left without thinking. 
What can I say? I like treasure. Fair enough. I suppose I can't really argue that. Mibu Possession Balloon. Filled with fountainhead water, imbued with a blessing of fortune. If one pops up this vibrant... Or no, if one pops, no up. This vibrant green Mibu Balloon and prays, those its water splashes upon will have a higher chance of obtaining items. Oh, okay. It's the um, it's the coin from Dark Souls. Yeah, Mibu means aquatic life or life born of the water. The Ashina consider the fountainhead water itself to be worthy of worship. Okay. Interesting. In fact, that says well. Now that we know you can swim, I guess that it would have answered the question very quickly of how do we get that item? Right. Oh. What's that? I'm gonna laugh if it's something that, like, drags you under. Right, if it's something that insta-kills me. It's like a giant fish. Wait, come back. It's like gone. Huh. Oh, it was so deep underwater. I don't think I could do anything about it. Oh, you know what this means? Huh. There really could be kappas in here. Right. Oh, another light coin burst. Oh, lots of fish. Okay, so that's one of those other ones. That's one of the treasure ones. Hit it, hit it. There we go. And nice. then. The pot was Yeah, talking. what was this? Okay. Know about carp scales? That's not creepy. The shining scales of the treasure card. Bring them to me, and I'll reward you handsomely. You reward me with what? Divine grass. A secret medicine that fully restores vitality and cures all status abnormalities. One small part of Ashina is exceedingly old. The ancient soil, rocks, and water that pervaded the land are said to have attracted the attention of the gods. The Dr. Dogen studied the plants in this ancient place, resulting in the recipe for the special medicine. Well, that's Dogen, right? Yeah, Dogen. Okay. Okay, so it's um, a divine blessing from Dark Souls. Okay, so withered red gourd. A curved withered red gourd filled with medicinal water. It refills upon rest. It reduces burn buildup and slightly increases burn resistance. It cannot heal the burn status abnormality, however. Huh. So it, like, is it an upgrade to my current gourd, or is it a replacement? Or is it a secondary? Maybe. Mask fragment right. A fragment of an old dancer's mask. The original must have been broken into several pieces, and this fragment appears to be the right side of the mask. Okay. And the Floating Passage text. A compendium on the combat art, Floating Passage. Unleash attacks in a flowing, dance-like form, overwhelming enemies, and a furor of graceful aggression. This te technique belongs to the Ashina Sword School, though it has been deemed heretical due to its foreign origin. Weird. Interesting. Bring me some skills next time. Okay, so I gotta get treasure card scales so that I can pay that dude so that I can get stuff. I mean, you can just get the, uh, red thing. Huh. I wonder if you get a fishing pole. Right? Like, I don't know how the heck they expect me to get those ones that are super deep under the water. Uh, did you want to buy the red gourd? Not yet, because I want to save up. I want to get that, uh, the ability. Fair enough. The, uh, the skill. I'm sure that mask is going to be a key item, key item also. Yeah, it's going to be important somehow. Okay, so let's continue onward. Oh, cool. Nice. Buddha that's, statue. That's good timing, too. Is it? Yeah. Do you think we should call it here? I think it's a good place, because who knows how much further it'll be for the next one. Fair enough. Okay, so, um... I guess we will see you all in the next video. Have a good night.
Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah. All right. Bye, guys. Ha, ha, ha.